to start with the Yamana 46286-K. That's an 8th inch tapered ball nose. And as you can see, I've got a piece of Sapele laid on the table. Got it all glued up, got it surfaced, and I really love Sapele wood. I uh, find that I really like the grain and the color, especially if I'm doing 3D carvings like this. Uh, it just, just makes for really good shadowing, and I've got a really nice finish that I put on it at the end. It just really makes the wood itself pop, and uh, creates just a really nice look. Whether you're looking at it straight on or you know from the side, it, uh, that's a pelly, and, and it just looks really good. So anyway, you can see this 8th inch ball nose, this spectra bit uh, from Amana is fantastic. Uh, it just leaves a really clean cut and just does an amazing job. That spectra coating makes that bit last and last. And what I've done is I'm using a raster toolpath and you can see it's just essentially back and forth across the piece up and down like a needle on a sewing machine just making its way. And on this uh, particular toolpath I've got a step over of about 9% so it's very minimal and I just skipped right over the roughing toolpath and went right into the finishing toolpath. When you have a short step over you can do that. So I chose to do that on this, this particular job. The nice thing about that is it uh, allows you to do it all in one, one time so you don't have to worry about making multiple passes. And as you can see, it does really well. Worth the uh, extra couple minutes to just do one pass instead of two. And the result is fantastic. Alright, now let's switch to the 45624-K. That's a 60 degree V-bit. Again, it's spectra coated. And as you can notice, the, uh, the V-carving is actually done onto the 3D model. That's a, a fantastic feature in the Vectric software that allows you to put that right on the 3D model as opposed to on the flat like the other text is done. Now I'm just making a V-tool path around the borders to create a little chamfer along that top edge. And now finally the 46202-K, the quarter inch down cut end mill. Again, spectra code. I love those bits. Got it zeroed out and all I simply did was go around the uh, border. I think I did this in four passes. I usually try to be moderate. This is the final result. And now it's time to put a coat of finish on it. I tell you what, water lots is one of my favorite finishes now. Uh, it just put, makes wood like this, especially 3D carvings, it just makes that grain pop and puts an amazing satiny finish on there. It's just very, very soft and I love it. Easy to apply. Uh, it does take a long time to dry but a fantastic finish. And you can see the final outcome there. I'm just making sure I get a good coat inside those uh, letters and rings and all the little mix and things. Love that water rocks. Fantastic finish. You know, subscribe, click the bell, and don't forget, come back and look for more videos later.